Foraging wild edibles is a beloved outdoor pastime in Oregon. It gets people out there with an objective to harvest a renewable resource. Learning how can be easy and it's a rewarding experience to collect edible mushrooms. There are many mushroom species out there to be found, but only some are edible and some are poisonous. In this video, we are going to focus on one common mushroom to the area, the Pacific Golden Chanterelle. This type of chanterelle is Oregon's state mushroom and can be easy to find and identify. Once comfortable with the chanterelle, the same learning process can be followed to identify other mushrooms. Here's a map to my favorite secret mushroom spot. Just kidding. Places get over harvested when they get popular, so people tend to keep specific spots to themselves. For the most part, chanterelles are found on the coasts and cascade ranges. It's not always a requirement, but north facing hills give the best chance at finding a lot of these mushrooms. The place to look will be dense forests at the base of these mountain ranges that get a combination of rain, sun, and shade. There's a season for chanterelles, just like many other mushrooms. The season starts sometime in fall when it starts raining and lasts a month to a couple months. Mushrooms thrive during the cycle of wet and dry days. Once the rain becomes too consistent and it starts freezing overnight, chanterelle season ends. Once we know where and when to go, it is time to gather the equipment and get out there. The 10 Essentials is a good checklist of outdoor gear to prepare for any adventure. What to carry mushrooms in is important, and the wrong choice can ruin the harvest. Not only is the basket cute, but its structure helps keep the mushrooms intact and provides airflow. Most people harvest mushrooms with a knife. It cuts off the dirty part of the stem, keeping your harvest of mushrooms clean. A field guide is helpful to identify mushrooms you're unfamiliar with. Identifying a poisonous mushroom later at home can contaminate your chanterelle harvest. Going off trail while looking down for mushrooms is a good way to get lost, so some kind of map GPS system is helpful. The starting point is usually from a hiking trail or forest road, but off trail is where most mushrooms will be found. Most of the day is spent exploring and looking for the mushrooms. The methods and success in finding chanterelles can vary. A good method is to cover a lot of ground until you find one and then search that area. They are often hidden with a tiny bit of orange showing from a certain angle. Once found, it's important to look at the details to identify if it's really a chanterelle. The cap is irregular and can vary as it ages, so it's hard to identify from the top of the mushroom. The features of a chanterelle are unique and identifying them will differentiate from other similar imposters. Deep gills are a common mushroom trait, but the chanterelle has shallow forked ridges instead.
colors of these chanterelles are yellowish orange on the outside and white on the inside. If you cut it open, it will have stringy fibers that smell slightly sweet with a hint of apricot. Chanterelles tend to grow together in patches like this group that was all hidden under the brush. Once they have been found and identified, harvesting is the easy part. Often the area around it has to be cleared carefully to avoid damage. There's some debate on cutting versus picking and how it affects the health of the mycelium below. No meaningful difference has been proven one way or the other, but cutting is nice to remove the dirtiest part of the stem. Collecting mushrooms is a fun experience in the forest that can last all day. A basket full of these mushrooms is usually the perfect amount. Overharvesting is never a good thing with natural resources, so most forests have a limit of one gallon. The next step is cooking because a raw chanterelle is not very tasty and can also upset your stomach. Mushrooms should remain unwashed until right before cooking, otherwise they are likely to get slime and mold. There are many ways to store mushrooms, or they can be eaten right away. The Pacific Golden Chanterelle is a great starting point to get into mushroom picking. Finding food in the wild is a fun adventure and brings feelings of relaxation and accomplishment. With a little knowledge and caution, anyone can get out and find wild edibles. <laughs>